Welcome back, everyone. Here we're taking a look at our first person to be eliminated from the table tonight, BK Gugaria from Joplin, Missouri. BK, you know, there was a hand in there where you, you went down on your chips pretty good. You had a pair of queens. He had trip aces. I mean, what were you playing him on? What, what did you think he had? I figured he had big slick or pocket aces, one of the two, and he had a set. You know, did you enjoy playing speed poker tonight? I know you said your wife normally doesn't watch you play, but she was here in the audience tonight. Do you think she was bad luck, maybe? No, we are still going to have to buy our house, so no. All right, well, congratulations on buying the house. Good luck in the future. Guys, back up to you. All right, a look at our current chip count. It is Bruce Spencer, who has been our leader for most of the night, still out in front by a couple of chips. And Pat Fleming, our most experienced player at the table, a Las Vegas native in fifth. And, John, that experience is going to serve Fleming well. You know, we've oh. had a lot of people on this program who have played in a World oh. Series, who, who have even done fairly well. Pat Fleming has finished in the top 20 in the World Championship three times. He knows what to do when he gets to be the short stack. That's a mind-boggling stat, and that says the guy's got game. Fold. Pot's not 8,000 when the blind's two. And I will make this prediction. Pat Fleming no, will not tall. allow himself to be two crippled tall. by the blinds. TheMansionPoker.com Poker Dome challenges a 43-week speed poker series starting with 216 online players vying for the grand prize of $1 million. There's sure to be tons of action and piles of cash to be won along the way. The series consists of six seven-week qualifying tournaments. Each tournament is made up of six qualifying matches. Those six qualifying match winners receive a prize of $25,000 and a seat at a million-dollar qualifying table. Every seventh week, the million-dollar qualifying table is held with those six match winners. That winner receives a prize of $50,000 and a seat at the million-dollar championship table. Finally, in March 2007, in our 43rd and final week, our six qualifying tournament winners will play speed poker for a million dollars right here in the Poker Dome. The blinds now up 2,000 and 4,000 inside the dome. Five players of our original six still at the table. Seat six fold. Fold. I could see Fleming moving here. I'm going to raise. There he goes. You know your man well. And Drum can't possibly call with a 9-5. Fold. Give it a quick thought, lets it go, and Pat Fleming picks this one up. You told me, yeah, you, you predicted he would definitely start peeling these down, taking the pots as he could, putting pressure on players. Well, now that the blinds are two and 4,000, there are 6,000 chips in play before the cards are dealt. And when you're the short stack, man, that 6,000 is very valuable. And people who have made it down to the final two tables of the World Championship know how to take advantage of those kind of blinds. Well, Smooch is in s number six seat, and again Five, another six, ace. And before the chips go in, Fleming's cards in the muck. Bruce Spencer raises, and he takes it away. Well, you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever? Each week, six lucky players are flown here to Vegas to compete inside the Poker Dome. Of course, we'd love to welcome you to the game. Just log on to MansionPoker.com, and you can earn a shot at $1 million. That was the most insane ride I have ever been on. And our ride continues inside the dome. $25,000 on the line. That will go to tonight's victor. And also, they will earn a shot at $50,000. Call. C4 calls. Fold. I call. Six calls. Oh. All right. Three way to the flop we go. Ten. Ten. Queen. Six checks. 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 Drum has an up and bet down four. straight draw right checks. here, and he's going to bet it. I fold. 
good action from Weber. Can't see how. He will not. So Bob Drum, that's his straight draw and wins it. He's a 53-year-old from Vashon Island, Washington. Cautiously aggressive, and he's had a dramatic lifestyle change over the last few years. Well, I was a commercial fisherman for about 30 years. We'd be out on the water six months at a time, pretty much wherever the companies would send us, uh, chasing salmon mostly. About three and a half years ago, when my first child, Lucy, was born, I decided to take a little break from fishing. The second child just came along a year ago. Uh, his name's Jesse. We just celebrated his first birthday. At this point, being gone six months out of the year just turned out to be not something I was so interested in anymore. Well, Bob Tony is happy That's to be here, looking forward to the action. So far, he's doing pretty well. Tied for the lead with Bruce Spencer. 85,000 in chips. Gold. I raise. Six raise an ounce. Spencer uh, taking advantage of both his position and his dominant chip stack. He is going to win 6,000 chips here. Again, you call that, and nobody looks him up. It is Bruce Spencer, also known as Spooch. Kissing a large chip stack, leading the way, $25,000 up for grabs. 